Field with Mark Oaken, General Manager of Restoration Lighting Gallery, part of the Connecticut Lighting Center's family. Mark, typically I'm in Hartford with you at Restoration Lighting Gallery, but today we're in beautiful historic Deerfield at Deerfield Academy outside of the administrative building, and I'm looking forward to seeing the work that you've done inside. We've done some great things actually with the lighting, restoring the old lighting, as well as putting some things in that carry the period through as far as style and look. Would you like to take a look? I would love to take a look. Let's go check it Let's out. Go. Wow, Mark. Well, this catches my eye, this beautiful chandelier. I'm sure you can tell me about that. <laughs> That's an amazing piece. When we came in here, they just needed really a lot of work, actually. Mm -hmm. They had years and years, decades of bad cleaning, chemicals that weren't right for the finish. The glass just didn't look right. They were burned out. Areas, you know, candles wouldn't light. It just was a bad piece. And you could, I mean, rid of them. You can't tell. It's, it oh, looks, it's stunning. After 35, 40 hours of work, we do a ground up restoration on it. All rewired, new sockets. The whole finish has been restored by hand. So that's the original patina. We brought it back to life. So from 1931, they were able to take a piece that was that, you're able to take a piece that was that old. They didn't have to throw it away and you brought it back to life. We repurposed it, it stayed in the building that it was originally in. It looks great. It's gonna last another 60 years, 70 years without any, uh, you know, any uh, anything else. It's, it's, it's great. It's gorgeous. Now I also see there's another chandelier over there. Are those the same or are they different? It is, but if you take a look at it closely, there's a lot more lights on it. It's a yeah. much bigger piece. That one was really unique. When we looked at it, it had basically rust and watermarks all over it. But yet, there's no bathroom or a roof above it. It's a second floor. No one has any idea how it got like that. But we were able to get it out and again, restore the finish that's on it for a much bigger piece, which is complimentary of the pieces we came in. Well, they're absolutely gorgeous. And I'm noticing some sconces on the wall as well. I'm sure that you had something to do with those. The sconces were a challenge. <laughs> Let's go take a look at them. <laughs> These are really unique, actually. They're a really beautiful sconce. They're all cast in, European wired, and we really enjoyed working on them. They just came out great. They're a nice, clean line. It was very beautiful, but we were taxed with something. There's four of them, right? Mm -hmm. But we need six. And they wanted us to replicate two of them to, to go into the entryway area. You know, it would cost so much money to replicate these exactly. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I found some that are reproductions that really carry the feeling through the same genre. In fact, most people don't even notice they're different. I have to be honest, I couldn't notice at all. And we that's walked the beautiful by them thing already. about what you do. Well, let's go check it out right now. So you needed two more sconces and this matched what, it great. This is what we came up with. Mm -hmm. The feel carries through the whole room. They're close enough to a match to the originals, yet they're available and we could get them right up to fit the budget of the job as well as get it done on time. And you'd never know those are from 1930 and this, they look beautiful together. Yep. Amazing. And that picture over there is so vibrant, so bright, I'm sure it has to do with the lighting. It's an LED picture light over the top of it actually. The colors are soft but still they stand out and they're very distinctive. And it's a pastoral painting of, the, I believe it's this whole compound. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's the lighting that really, really does brighten it up. Mark, I have to ask, these lights in the hallway, are they brand new or have they been restored? Ah, they look brand new, don't they? Yeah, they absolutely look no, brand new. they're restored. This is all mouth blown glass from Germany. Mm -hmm. There's eight of these. We rewired them, we cleaned them, we polished up the brass because it was a polished brass. We made it look brand new again. Now they're back up. They do accent the hall nicely. They're absolutely beautiful. Yes, they are. Great pieces. Now we're in the library, and Mark, these chandeliers are, I have no words, they're absolutely amazing. They are amazing, aren't they? Yeah. The ones in the entry were more like a home. Mm -hmm. These are more like a hotel. Grand pieces, we disassembled them right down to the smallest nut and screw, restored them. As you can see, the beautiful finish on there is just unbelievable. The hand-cut glass shades. We did something, though, from the 21st century. There's LED light bulbs in there. They can burn 24-7 and not spend too much money on energy, but also they don't have to get up on a ladder and change the bulbs. It's amazing what you can do. This, these beautiful chandeliers are from 19, the 1930s. The 1930s, they were put up when the original building was done. They're huge, they're about 55 inches in diameter. They're big, big pieces. And it's just the scale that we can handle is from very small to pieces like this, just very grand. And it really is amazing what you can do. The finish is great, the piece is great. We got called in on this project. It's probably one of the apples of my eye for, for what we can accomplish and how beautiful it is, especially in this beautiful setting. Mark, it was so amazing and impressive to see the work that you do actually firsthand and to see how you can take something from so long ago and bring it back to life. Thanks, Ashley. It really was a great project. 
Well, what's nice is we can go from any scale, from a very small piece in your home to a scale such as what you're seeing here, right in the, in the library. They're just grand pieces. And you know, we do it with care, we do it with love, and you know, we love it when it's back in the atmosphere just like this. Yeah, and it, it really is amazing, and it's so beautiful to really look up close and appreciate the work that you've done. And hopefully I get to see you soon down in Hartford at Restoration Lighting Gallery. Come on in. Well, thanks so much for inviting me here today. It was Good great to, to be with you. Actually. Restoration Lighting Gallery is easy to get to. Just take exit 27 off I-91 in Hartford, Connecticut. And if you have any questions, give them a call at 860-493-2532. You can also visit them online at myrlg.com. Up next on Mass Appeal, if you thought...